Mo, if Walt Jockety makes a move, is it likely to come from out of nowhere? Yes. If you look at Walt Jockety's track record in Cincinnati, think of his most notable moves. Not his best moves, not limited to trades, not his biggest moves, but his most notable moves. When they've gone down, you've been very, very surprised. Trade deadline three years ago, the Reds get Scott Rowland for Edwin Encarnacion and Zach Stewart. Nobody saw that coming. Reds signed Joey Votto to a contract extension. Nobody saw that coming. To a different extent, the Brandon Phillips extension. The Reds signed a Aroldis Chapman. Now, you might have known who Aroldis Chapman was, but the Reds came from out of nowhere. Totally off the radar. Big eyebrow-raising move. Even the decisions made this offseason. The Matt Latos deal. Now, Matt Latos was rumored to be on the block, but there wasn't much connecting Cincinnati. To an even larger extent, the Sean Marshall deal, and to a different degree, the Ryan Madsen move. There had been some talk about the Reds and Ryan Madsen, but it had seemed to peter out. Uh, now, look, there have been moves where the, the kind of the handwriting was on the wall, Junior done in 2008, but even some of the trades they've made, or some of the offseason moves, Edgar Renteria, Orlando Cabrera, no clue. Most of the decisions that Walt Jockety has made, either after the winning the winter meetings or around the trading deadline, and yes, there have been trade deadlines where the Reds have done nothing, and that could very well be the case this year. But as much as we like to sort through all the rumors and kick around guys who might be dealt and talk about players who have been DFA'd, Walt Jockety's track record would suggest that if the Reds do make a deal, it's going to be one that's not on your radar or on my radar. That's how Walt Jockety likes it. Frankly, that's probably for the best, even though no, it's not as much fun to talk about moves that we don't know are going to happen. Uh, tweet me at Mo Egger 1530. Email me, Mo at ESPN 1530.com. And I'm still waiting for a nice letter. 8044 Montgomery Road, Suite 650, Cincinnati, 45236.